Hi, it's good to have you again on the Healthy Life. We have noticed with alarm that the number of COVID-19 cases is skyrocketing. You have to stay safe, you have to keep yourself safe. Remember to sanitize your hands, remember to wear a mask, to remember to stay at home if possible, and remember social distance, it helps, and it helps really, really well. Of course, a number of other things have been put in place by the government to reduce the spread of COVID-19, so let's try to abide to those. We wanted to mention that to you before we start today's uh, topic. Today we want to be talking about diet as well as your health and weight. Okay, so as much as diet is concerned, we're talking about the foods that we eat. We're talking about three main categories of food. We're talking about carbohydrates, we're talking about fats, we're talking about proteins as well. Of course, we know there are other things like minerals and vitamins. Those are also very key to your body to function as efficiently as it does now. In our episode today, we're going to focus mostly on carbohydrates. We're going to talk about fatty acids, and by that I mean fats later on in other episodes that we're going to have in the next coming, in the next coming days. So carbohydrates. Most people that are trying to lose weight are very concerned about how many carbs they take. They measure them in units called calories, so they keep counting their calories. They don't want to have more calories than they need per day to ensure that they don't gain weight. And there are people that strictly follow that. So how do carbohydrates themselves contribute to you gaining weight or to you failing to lose weight? And how can it contribute to the overall state of your health? For us to answer that question, we have to understand two things about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates can be simple, then they can be complex. When we're talking about simple carbohydrates, we're talking about sugars that are easily broken down. I'm saying sugars because carbohydrates are basically sugar. So when we're talking about simple carbohydrates or simple sugars, these are sugars that are easily broken down and absorbed in the body. So it happens at a very rapid rate and then the body utilizes the energy from the sugar for a lot of function and a lot of processes that work. Even we're talking right now, the body is utilizing the sugar that I had a couple of hours ago. But what is the wrong thing about the simple sugars? What is the bad thing? Are there any advantages? Yes, they are. Because the body processes will break down this sugar in a very rapid way. You have a lot of sugar accumulating in your body, more than the body needs at that particular time. So the body starts to store this sugar. The first way it stores this sugar is through what we call glycogen stores. So it converts them to another form of sugar, a storage form that we call glycogen. But it can only take up so much. So the rest of the simple sugars that remain that have already been broken down are converted all the way to fats. Now everybody out there knows that they don't want to have a lot of fat in their body because what? They become fat, they become obese, they become overweight. So actually, when you have simple sugars, a lot of simple sugars, the body is going to convert them to fat as well as storing them, and that is going to increase your weight generally, and that's not something that you want to endure. The kind of fat also that the body makes from these simple sugars is a kind that is not good for your health. We call them saturated fats. And these increase your chances of having diabetes, hypertension, and other forms of non-communicable disease. That is why we don't want you to be having a lot of simple sugars. Now, where do you get these simple sugars? Most of these simple sugars, you'll be able to get them from things like soda or carbonated drinks. They are very rich in simple sugars, from cakes, from pastries, from jam that you put on your bread. You also get most of these simple sugars from bread made from um, white flour that has also been known to contain a lot of simple sugars. So basically everything that is sweet in a nutshell not everything, but generally everything that is sweet has simple sugars. That is why cake is sweet, chocolate is sweet, certain forms of bread are sweet, jam is sweet, because they all contain simple sugars. So people that have, say, Coca-Cola every day with a cream donut, that's a bad combination. Their body is constantly accumulating glycogen and, of course, bad fat. And they may gain weight. Even if they don't gain weight, they're going to have an excess of the type of fat that is dangerous for your heart. So that's about simple sugars. What about complicated sugars? The difference between complicated sugars and simple sugars is that complicated sugars are not easily broken down by the body. So there's this gradual increase of the amount of sugar in your body 
it's a gradual increase. This gives enough time for the body to completely utilize the sugar as it is being produced. As a result, if somebody has a complex sugar, you have less conversion of the sugar into glycogen and you have less conversion of the sugar into what? Into fat. As a result, when people are having more of complicated fats or more of complex fats, they also have a reduced amount of fat generally. And what will be the end result? Their rate of gain will be significantly reduced or zero. That is why we always admonish you to have complex sugars wherever possible. Now, where do you get these complex sugars? Well, most of these complex sugars are found in fruits. So most fruits are going to have complex sugars. You also have things like cereals, grains, and when we're talking about grains, we're talking about whole grains. So these foods have been known to have complex sugars as opposed to simple sugars. An example that I can give is uh, something that is available, avail available in our communities, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are a good source of complex sugars. And when you look at these complex sugars, they don't necessarily have that sweet taste that we have come to be accustomed with generally as a people when we are eating food. So jam is sweet because it has simple sugars. Sweet potatoes are not necessarily sweet. Maize when boiled is not sweet because it's a complex sugar, but they are both carbohydrates. Which one is better for your health? The complex sugar is better for your health because it offers less conversion of the glucose into fat less conversion of the glucose into glycogen as well and allows your body to efficiently utilize the glucose that is being absorbed from the food you are eating. How does that translate to weight loss? So if you're trying to lose weight and you keep having simple sugars, you keep having all these sweet things, jam, bread, uh, tea with a lot of sugar, ice cream, it is very difficult for you to lose your weight because most of these sugars are going to be con converted to fat will just contribute to your weight but if you focus on having more complex sugars you are, you are likely to lose weight in the long run when you couple this with other things that we're going to talk about in later episodes of today's topic so i don't want just to give you the kind of food you should eat and the kind of food you shouldn't eat but i want you to understand why you should avoid certain foods so all foods that are rich in simple sugars, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to stay healthy, you have to minimize them or avoid them completely. Foods that are rich in complex sugars are good for you, they're going to contribute to your losing weight, they also contribute to you to have very good health in general, which will protect you from non-communicable diseases like diabetes and hypertension. So that is all we had for you concerning simple sugars. And complex sugars. So next time you'll be wondering what foods you should be avoiding as far as carbohydrates are concerned if you want to lose weight or you just generally want to stay healthy, now you know. Thank you very much.